With the democratization of infrastructure, the modern data warehouse can be architected into a general framework which looks something like this. It has five fixed stages which can be implemented in various configurations of cloud and your personal infrastructure. In the ingest phase, your data can come from multiple sources, some examples being FTP, streams or the CDC, the change data capture from your production sources. The storage stage is about acquiring the raw data and this is where the redundancy can be taken care of as well. Remember, this is just about populating the data lake. The next stage involves transforming the data. This is about cleaning, getting them into a format apt for analysis like Parquet or merging the CDCs or doing deduplication. This is use case specific. This will be multi-stage process. Next stage is to provide the data for modeling. Either it can be a warehouse, sandbox or some other technique through which the data models can be exposed for the further use cases. Once ready, the data can either be visualized or it can be used for further feature engineering, machine learning if it hasn't already been used through the raw store. Let's look at the practical landscape of how your data is going to look. Yes, this is how your data will be laid out across the globe, across various data centers and various clouds. And that is what you really are going to manage. The data will always keep moving around between your data center, your multiple cloud vendors and your developer machines. This data management is one of the core tasks of your data architecture. Adding data science to the equation makes modern architecture far more complex. So you just need to consider modern data architecture as something which is more about cost optimization than the compute itself. So you will have to work on both fronts, keep mapping things to fundamentals and understand why you are paying every single penny to the vendors you are dealing with.